Hey, today I'm gonna be trying out makeup, um, just kind of practicing for my wedding day. It's coming up pretty close and I still have a lot of practicing to do. I have a mixture of stuff that I know I really like and some stuff that I've never tried before. I have a few things that I'm pretty excited to try for the first time today and I'll just go ahead and get started. I've already done my skincare um, and it's sat for a little while. I always like to start with concealer. So we've had our wedding planned, I don't know. We all, our engagement was about a year. We got um, engaged on April 3rd of 2021 and our wedding is May 14th, 2022. So our engagement was about a year. We've had the big things planned for, I don't know, it seems like forever. And now it's getting down to where I need to have like all of the smaller things together. And I've actually never been to a real wedding, so I feel like I'm just kind of winging the entire thing. <laughs> uh, I'm one of those people who likes to do my eye makeup before my face makeup. That concealer I used was just the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer. I've used that. I like it and I'll probably end up using it on my wedding day. So for the eyeshadow, this is something new. It is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 palette. I have pretty high hopes for it. I will probably be using these over here. And I'm gonna get the Natasha Denona Glam palette just to use the mattes for blending the dimension. I'm gonna start out with the lightest matte shade in the Patrick Ta palette. My dress is a ball gown dress, and the color is ivory over blush. I'm absolutely terrible at keeping secrets from Brandon, and I'm so proud of myself for not showing him my dress. One of the things I did to help me with that is they kept it there, so like they have it, and I can't. You know, like show in person. I'm very proud of myself for not showing pictures. I'm gonna take the blend shade and then Natasha Denona palette. Every time I sit down to film, which I mean it's only the second time I've actually done it, I always forget my mirror. Where we live now, we rent a townhouse, and the lighting here is just awful. So I'm just using the mirror out of the palettes and for my camera. I've had the hardest time actually getting a getting everything ready in order to start filming. Like, if you saw my first video, it w it was a disaster. But I promised myself that I was gonna do it and I'd post it no matter what and you know I'd go <laughs> go from there. So that's what I've done. Now I'm gonna take this mauve shade. It's the second to lightest matte in the Patrick Ta palette. Okay I like that. I like that a lot. I still haven't gotten a gift from my bridesmaids. I had all these ideas when I first started wedding planning. And then I was, I told myself like to slow down, you know, that's something I can do later on. And here I am, so I've done it. I'm gonna take the blending brush that I was just using. And this is just the brush out of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I don't know why I love these brushes. Like I, I keep them all. <laughs> I'm gonna spray the end of the Anastasia brush with Max Fix Plus. And I'm gonna try, I usually use any kind of glitter shimmer shade with my finger. I'm gonna try that lightest um, shimmer in the Patrick Top palette with the brush. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs liner in the shade of Pink of Me. 
they had a liner and it was special edition but it was called in the buff and it was my absolutely favorite liner when i, I didn't realize it was special edition and when i went back to like buy the full size because it came in a I think it was there was like four different um minis um the guy was just like i have no idea what you're talking about that that doesn't exist and i was like it exists because i have it <laughs> So far, I really like the Patrick Ta palette. I'm hoping that's the one I'm going to use. I'm going to be trying the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's the new one. Um, I was a fan of the, the older one they had. I've never tried this one though. It kind of just feels like putting a moisturizer on. Maybe a little more silky. Foundation. Uh, and <laughs> really stuck on the MAC Studio F Studio Fix Fluid. I wear the shade NW10. I don't know why. I've tried several different ones. I've liked several other ones in the past. I love the Too Faced Born This Way. I like the Fenty, the original F Fenty, which I have dry skin. And I know that one is for oily skin. But for some reason, it just works for me. But this is probably going to be the one that I use on my wedding day. I uh, have tried a few other things recently just because I am trying new makeup specifically for my wedding and it kind of gives me an excuse to buy new makeup. I just keep going back to it so I know I like it. I know this shade works good for me. Um, so it's just what I'm going to do. Now I use a beauty blender for my foundation like 80% of the time. Since I have dry skin, my face can get cakey pretty easy. I think that's, I like it so much because it helps that from happening. I'm not a makeup professional, just somebody who likes makeup a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little more. I always put it on the back of my hand and kind of warm it up. I think it just goes into my skin. I don't know why I make those facial expressions. <laughs> it kind of helps it blend and Look better. I have the Rare Beauty concealer brush. I'm gonna try that. I wear glasses, um, right where the pad of my glasses sits. Sits. Just to see how, if that makes any kind of difference. The brush itself works fine. I just like the look of the beauty blender better. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty um, bronzing stick. I have Happy Soul. Uh, this is the second time I've used it. The first time I really liked it, so I'm gonna give it another try. It is really hard doing your makeup with <laughs> such a little reflection you know in the viewfinder and then is that even i'm going to use this brush camera it looks a lot more harsh like in real life I can't see that but that might tell me how it's gonna look in pictures too I'm super intimidated by blush for the longest time I just kind of skipped over blush because I'm so pale one of the reasons I decided to do my own makeup for my wedding is because I am so pale when I've only had my hair makeup done um, a handful of times by a professional 
but they always make my eyebrows super super dark and i always hate it and i never like my face makeup um everything else you know is usually pretty good but i am so pale everything just washes me out um so i just had to do my own and one of the reasons i skipped over blush because it's because i am pale i feel like it looks kind of clowny easier um and i've definitely never <laughs> used shimmer blush when I do. I always stick with matte. I'm gonna try, I just got this Natasha Denona Bloom palette. Um, I'm gonna try this shade. I'm just using a Morphe blush brush. Whenever I do wear blush, whenever I put it on, I feel like it looks too much from the very beginning. And then, I don't know, after it's been on for like, you know, 10, 20 minutes after I haven't been looking at myself, I can't even tell it's there, so. I do not have a good idea about blush. I recently got the Anastasia Ambreezy highlighter. I'm gonna try that. My goal is to I, I'm gonna take all of my makeup with me um, to the wedding for my bridesmaids to use um, if they want to just give them more of a selection and options whatever they want to do um, but I want to have the makeup I'm going to use already planned out and put it in my makeup bag and completely separate from the rest of it so I'm not there the day of last minute just trying to go through everything and you know be overwhelmed with choices and it go completely different than what I wanted so I'm trying to make it my wedding day as low stressful as possible I usually love the benefit the real mascara it's kind of been replaced by the Thrive mascara which next time I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one again but I recently picked up the tinted primer I don't know I was kind of underwhelmed by the the real but I'm gonna give it one more try I feel like my under eyes on camera look yellow. Tell me what you think. I've got my brushes mixed up. I have like a little, I don't know what it's actually for. Um, those little cup things that are together. And I have three of them and I use one for eye brushes, one for face brushes, and then one for brushes that I want occasionally, but don't use regularly. This is the Laura Mercier um, thing. is like under eye brightening color. Whatever that one is. I always put a little extra where my glasses, nose pad sits. And then the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. I put a little bit on my forehead. I actually got Botox recently because for as long as I can remember my entire life, I... Uh, I've always had a deep set wrinkle. I have like three wrinkles, but I have one that is pretty, pretty deep set. And my makeup would be creased before I even finished doing my makeup. <laughs> so I got Botox um, for the first time ever, which was not bad at all. Um, I also got lip injections once and that was way more painful and didn't have as good results. And it was a lot more expensive. Um, but that way on my wedding day, I don't have to worry about there being a big line in all my pictures and <laughs> I feel like that'd be very awkward. I'm just going to use the Benefit Gimme Brow. I always use shade 3. Just I've been told it's too light for me but it's what I like so it's what I'm doing. I hate those days that you do your makeup and you're like, okay, I think I got it all. And then it's like, oh, well, I forgot highlighter or <laughs> I forgot primer. Primer's the thing I forget sometimes. This is a MAC Fix Plus. I'm kind of 
stuck on the hunt to you for no real reason. But it makes me feel better. I don't really know what lip I'm gonna do on my wedding day. That's something that if you have any kind of opinion about, let me know because I really like the MAC, lip, MAC lipsticks. That's what I'm gonna use today, kind of just as a placeholder to have makeup on. This is in the shade Modesty. But on my actual wedding day, like I don't want to transfer. So let me know what you think. I don't have, I don't like the Anastasia liquid lips. I kind of have lined lips. I don't know if you can tell. But the Anastasia, like it dries, it's super drying on my lips and I don't like that one. But I am willing to try anything. And it's been a while since I've tried that one. So maybe their formula is different, I don't know. This is the, what is it? Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner and Magnetic. Our wedding ceremony is gonna be outside um, and our reception is inside. There's a lot of greenery outside. Um, I think it'll make for really pretty pictures. If that tells you anything. I like that. I think it looks so different without my glasses. So, eyeshadow in the Patrick Ta palette, I ended up using these three shades. The only thing I used in the Natasha Denona palette was this blend shade right here. Went over the foundation. The um, concealer I used, I wear the shade Snow. I don't know if that's how you feel I am. I think that is it. I'll let you know how it looks throughout the day. Um, I don't have anything crazy planned. We're just looking at houses. We've been looking at houses for, it seems like, forever now. I will wear my glasses today at my wedding, for sure. I want to be able to see that. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So here's my makeup after about 10 hours. I wanted to do a check-in sooner, but that just didn't work out very good. Here's my three-year-old. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> good job. Um, I did reapply the lipstick. Um, I haven't touched anything else, though. I don't really have much of an opinion about the primer. Um, it's okay. I don't love it. Hate it. I'll give another try. The eyeshadow, I feel like, did the greasy thing. Uh, might give another try. I don't know. I feel very, like, mediocre about this whole look. All the products. Um, the foundation, you know, I know I like the foundation. The eyebrows, uh, that's fine. I do like the bronzer stick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a pal of things that i am going to use for my wedding day and we'll, that'll be in there the gimme brow will be in there the Too faced concealer the mac foundation my setting powder so i still need to find a mascara i'm going to give the thrive a try next time um might play around with some different eyeshadows because i don't feel like i found it yet um definitely need to find a lip color so if you have any recommendations of what kind of lip product to wear on your wedding day, let me know. I'm gonna give the Makeup by Mario a try. I liked it better. Um, I also have a trio from Tarte, so I might try that, but Makeup by Mario is looking pretty good so far. I will probably do a nude liner. Um, that's just kind of my go-to where I'm comfortable anyway. So we'll have another practice day soon. And this is for 10 hours how it has turned out. Nothing great, nothing tragic, just okay. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Say subscribe. Good job. Good job.